Welcome, Flip Clock fans. It recently came to my attention that a Seth Thomas Flip Clock actually appeared in the movie The Life Aquatic with Steve Sissow. This film, released in the United States on December 25, 2004, was co-written and directed by Wes Anderson. The Life Aquatic with Steve Sissow did not do well at the box office, netting just under $24 million on a budget of $25 million, and received generally poor reviews at the time. However, this Bill Murray movie retrospectively became more appreciated by movie critics and additionally has taken on a cult following. Classified as an action, adventure, comedy, drama, romance, the movie, in my opinion, does not reach the bizarre level as movies like Airplane or Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, but clearly the antics are quirky to say the least. If you're prepared for the quirky, the movie can be more than watchable and I found it to be very enjoyable. To set the stage, here's my synopsis. Internationally known oceanographer, but now with possibly failing popularity, Steve Zissow, Bill Murray, and his eclectic crew, Team Sissow, led by alternately ferocious and highly sensitive Kloss, William Defoe, set sail on an expedition to hunt down the mysterious, elusive, possibly bogus jaguar shark. This beast, Sissow asserted in his recently released documentary, killed his longtime friend and partner, Esteban, played by Seymour Castle, here in his last movie role, and who passed away this year. Steve Zissow has publicly sworn vengeance upon the rare giant fish, possibly a shark, he's not sure, that devoured his friend Esteban. Ned Plimpton, played by Owen Wilson, a pilot for Air Kentucky based out of Louisville, joins Team Sissow to the consternation of Kloss. Ned, who believes Zissow to be his father, buys with Zissow for the affection of a journalist embedded on the voyage, Jane Winslet, played by Kate Blanchett, who happens to be pregnant by a married man with whom she works. Interestingly, Kate Blanchett actually was pregnant during the filming, initially wearing a device to create a baby bump, but later not needing this device. This owl mocked publicly prior to the voyage by his nemesis slash competitor Alistair Hennessy, Jeff Goldblum, eventually exacts revenge by looting Hennessy's observation post while on the journey, but in a twist of fate ends up rescuing Hennessy from pirates while trying to actually rescue Bill Ubel, played by Bud Court, who this all calls the Bond Company stooge forced upon Zissau by a funding source to make sure he obeyed the law, including, but not limited to, not killing the mythical fish. Initially refusing to participate in the expedition, Zissau's estranged wife, scientist Eleanor, played by Angelica Houston, known by all as the brains of the team, eventually comes around to helping Zissau regain his mojo and come face to face with his demons. Crew member Pele dos Santos, played by Seu Jorge, essentially serves as a soundtrack for this movie, with Pele often found amusedly strumming his guitar in many settings, often at inopportune moments. He was supposed to be on watch when pirates boarded the ship. Most of the tunes of this soundtrack are David Bowie songs sung in Portuguese by Jorge. Reportedly, Bowie said, had Seu Jorge not recorded my songs in Portuguese, I would never have heard this new level of beauty which he has imbued them with. The Seth Thomas clock can be seen in two places early in the film, at around 21 minutes and again at 31 to 32 minutes. The setting for the clock reveal? The Zissau compound, Pescapata Island, given to Zissau by his wife's wealthy parents, where Zissau had taken his newly found son to bond and eventually enticed to join Team Zissau. The clock rests on a windowsill of a room occupied by Ned. We can clearly see the clock in the two different scenes and easily identify it as the U.S.-made Seth Thomas Speed Read Model E037-000. In the first scene, you can see a wristwatch in Ned's Zissau Society Junior member ring, which he has treasured since a child watching Zissau shows. More properly described as a cyclometer or a rolling wheel clock rather than a true flip clock, the timekeeper consists of a solid wood case and rolling numbered wheels to display the time. These clocks always amuse me as to set them you essentially jam your finger up inside the clock and manually move the wheels. Seth Thomas catalogs show the clock to have been introduced around 1964 with the clock being prominently promoted at least up until 1971. It was described as coming in mahogany or walnut finish and in 1966 was priced around $25. Adjusted for inflation, $25 in 1966 
is equal to about $197 in 2019. So there it is, the Life Aquatic Flip Clock, or Cyclometer, the Seth Thomas Speed Read E037-000.